you all the sir crews you already know what it is you're gonna get to the world's come on my page talking on the side of your neck got my block on tell us the disrespect now today we're gonna be talking about 10 facts that you need to know when it comes to 360 waves or 540 waves or 720 waves so the first fact we got is this you need to brush to get waves that's common sense it don't matter if you're three years old or 35 or 65 or 90 if you still got hair about that time if you want to get waves if you want to if you want to achieve a wavy wavy head period you have to brush your head now i'm about to show y'all a chart right here right now this is going to be one of the most inform informative videos that i've ever released i'm trying to, i'm gonna try to break it down real good as best as i possibly can i want y'all to listen to the whole video a lot of people be asking me and saying they got prob problems with their waves please listen to the video Follow me on Instagram at Real Sir Cruz. Follow my backup Instagram at Mr. William Cruz. My Instagrams is going to be in the description of this video. Now, you got a brush to get waves, right? Now, you see this curl chart right here, right? You see this chart. Now, the straighter, the straighter your hair is, oh, my nail about longer than a bit. The straighter your strand is, the more you got to brush. The kinkier or uh, more coily it is, the less you have to brush. Now, you see automatically, look automatically that's a wave if your hair is curled up coiled up like that that's automatically gonna be a wave opposed to somebody like this with their hair looking like that that's straight they're gonna have to brush much longer so somebody with hair like this their hair is coarse coarse is over here then you get to the medium medium straight then you got this flat out straight so the coarser your hair is the less you have to brush the straighter your hair is the more you have to brush coarse hair i should say should brush anywhere from Every I think everybody should brush at the least an hour every day in a mirror in a bathroom concentrated brushing not blind brushing concentrated brushing an hour not brushing thirty minutes here in the in the parking lot getting head you know not thirty minutes in church not five minutes in the bathroom in the club no an hour straight in a bathroom at home at night when everybody sleep in a mirror behind the mirror behind you and a handheld mirror in front of you precise brushing that's how you um get your angles down pat you know that's how you do it so you need to brush to get waves everybody should brush no least than third uh, hour coarse hair i say brush for an hour medium hair like me an hour and 35 somebody with straighter hair on the chart they got to brush two hours or more because it's, it's more stubborn stubborn hair the straighter it is the more stubborn it is the wave up it's going to be harder so you got to brush more with straight hair Coarse hair brush at the least an hour. Like I said, somebody with texture like me, brush, um, I say an hour and a half. That's what I do. Number two, products don't get you waves. Please remember that fact. They don't get you waves. Well, how do you get waves then? I mean, I could have swore. No, motherfucker. You got to brush to get waves. That's number one. Number one is brushing. Number two, products don't get you waves. Products enhance them you know steroids don't get you muscle it 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 increases the um it helps in the process of building it helps recovery so these products help with the rejuvenation of your scalp the the healthiness of your hair the the silkiness the the the, the shine the moisture the lay down not getting waves you see what I'm saying? Now, it's a difference between a product induced. It's a difference between waves you created from brushing and product induced waves. Now, I never heard nobody say this before. This just came up off the top of my head. And it's starting it start to make sense as I formulate these thoughts. Product induced waves are waves that come from just putting a product in here. You ever put a product in your hair and your hair start curling up? That's a product induced wave. That's not a wave that's really there. That's why people be like, oh, I washed my hair, my waves is gone. Your waves is gone because it was induced by that product, not by your brushing. See what I'm saying? It's a difference. Listen to that. Product, it's just like water. Water make your hair curl up. But when you get it back down and lay it down, the waves might be gone. A lot of people are like, oh, I, 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 I feel my waves, but when I look in the mirror, I don't see them. What type of stupid shit? That, that, that ain't no wave. Just like saying, oh, I feel my girl booty in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sundress, but when I look at it, I don't see no her booty flat. But she ain't got no booty. Number three, do-rags don't get you waves. What, what people be like, oh, I need my do-rag. I got to get weight. 
do rags do not get you waves. Do rags is do rags can be either two things. A do rag can be used for fashion, or a do rag can be used as a tool to lay your hair down. A lot of people wear wave caps, stocking caps, do rags for fashion. You know, back in the day, niggas bald headed wear stocking cap for no reason, just because it make them look hard, or just because that's what they like. Maybe they subconscious about their hair, you know. So it depends. A do rag don't get you waves. It only helps lay your hair down. It helps keep your waves intact while you sleep. That's a good definition, everybody. If somebody asks you what a do-rag is for, tell them this. A do-rag is a tool used to keep your hair laid while you sleep. Remember that. Number four, a product that you see that works for the person you watch on YouTube, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. Just because you see me using coconut oil, that is gonna mean that don't mean it's going to make your hair shine the way it's making mine shine. You may have coarse hair and I got medium. I'm in the middle of the chart. So your hair is going to react differently than mine will and vice versa. See what I'm saying? Your hair might like Murray's. My, I don't like Murray's in my hair. You see what I'm saying? Murray's, I, I don't like that feeling. It puts on. It, it feels like my hair is suffocated. It feels like a pillow is on my face. So I like oils. My hair loves oils. And it, I don't know. I wish I would have knew this years ago, but that's what comes through our time. And you learn this stuff. Oils works best for me and make my hair look the best. So just because you see me using grapeseed oil and coconut oil, which are the only two products I use, by the way, so don't ask me. I use grapeseed oil and coconut oil. That's what I use. It don't matter what brand, just as long as you get organic and raw in the purest form that you can find. Find it online. You the bars, Amazon.com, Prime, bars. We the line, so bars. But like I said, that's what I use. But don't get it twisted and think, oh, Sir Cruz uses it. It's going to make my hair look like his. That's not how it works, son. That ain't how it works. You have to see what works for you. It's trial and error. It may work. We can have the same hair texture, but it don't work for you. See what I'm saying? It don't matter. Somebody with coarse hair may work for them just like it worked for me. See, it's all, it's, life is kind of weird sometimes, but that's how it is. Somebody with coarse hair can use the same product as me and it work for them just like it worked for me. And somebody with some hair similar to mine, it might even work for them. Backwards, ain't it? So Five, you have to stay consistent. If you're not brushing every day, you are not Allow yourself to make progress. How are you going to make progress if you're not brushing every day, sir? You have to stay at it every day. If you're trying to learn how to play an instrument, you have to stay practicing every day so you don't fall off. If you're trying to learn how to drive, you got to practice every day so you don't fall off. You're trying to learn how to dunk, you got to practice every day so you don't fall off. You're trying to get your vocal cords right, you got to practice every day so you don't fall off. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing with your waves, an hour and a half every day. Coarse hair, like I said, I already gave you the examples and times. Go back and listen. So number six, you need different brushes for different hair lengths. Coarse hair, well, this is for all lengths. Short hair, when your hair is short, you should be sticking with a soft medium to a medium. When your hair gets a little thick two, three weeks in, it starts to grow, get you a medium. A week after that, medium hard. And then when you really wolfing, um hard brush so that's what i'm saying every length of hair deserves a different type of brush you you just can't go with one brush you need different brushes for different hair lengths a soft brush cannot be properly used when you 12 weeks wolfing now let's talk about wolfing real quick wolfing is to wolfing is to help your hair lay down what the hell am i saying wolfing is a term that was created and it means growing your hair so that you can better your wave pattern See what I'm saying? That's the simplest definition I can give you. Wolfing is to let giving yourself enough time to let your hair grow. So you usually get your hair cut every three to four weeks. Get your hair every cut every three weeks. Go three to four. Get your hair cut every three. If you usually get it cut every three weeks, get it cut every five weeks. You see what I'm saying? Wolfing is just basically going past the time you usually get your hair cut. It's not considered wolfing if it's three weeks. You're not three weeks wolfing if you usually get your hair cut every three weeks. That's not even wolfing. You just ain't had your hair cut in three weeks. You know, you're not wolfing until you go past the time you usually get your hair cut. So now what is this next one? You don't need to wolf longer than 12 weeks. Coarse hair should wolf no longer than four weeks. Only if you're an expert. But other than that, you're not you can't really see where your errors are until you cut your hair low. That's why you shouldn't wolf that long. Coarse hair should wolf from um don't cut off computer. Coarse hair should wolf. Four weeks at the max. Four to five weeks at the max. Maybe six. But you have to be brushing. Do not forget you have to brush. Somebody with my texture. 
I can wolf eight to twelve weeks. See what I'm saying? Anywhere from eight to twelve weeks in my texture. Somebody with straighter, they can go to twelve weeks because they they need to wolf longer. Because it's stubborn hair. Stubborn hair, straight hair is stubborn. It's hard to, it's kind of, it's harder to wave it up opposed to course. So, don't go past your max. You need to see where your errors are. You can't really see your errors if you have a lot of hair on your head. And your ways may look a certain way, but when you cut it off, it's going to look different. Because you got, you know, your progress is underneath. Whether you lost or gained, it's underneath that. So, that's why you need to use a hard brush when you're wolfing so it can get really deep down there. So that's why you shouldn't wolf that long because if you wolfing so long, you actually might reverse what you think you was correcting. So you you wolfing longer thinking you correcting something when you get a cut, you actually gave yourself more forks because you couldn't tell what was wrong. You see what I'm saying? So number eight, don't wash your hair after a fresh cut. Barbers offer different services. Master barbers offer different services. Um, I've seen that most barbershops I've been to, I've only been to two. Um, they offer a service where they wash your hair after they cut it. Now I said cut it, not line up. They wash your they wash your hair after you cut it, after they cut it, and then they give you a lineup. That's why I tell y'all, do not wash your hair after a fresh cut. You need to give yourself time. Expect, then it depends on the length you get your hair cut. Um, any length, any guard from 1.5 to 2.5, you should not be washing your hair after that. See what I'm saying? So you shouldn't be really be washing your hair after a fresh cut, especially if the guard is from 1.5 to a 2. Especially if you got medium hair like me, medium or straight. You should not be getting it cut. You shouldn't even be getting a cut to 1.5 if you got hair texture like me, unless you just don't care, unless you just a, a person with waves and not a waver. So it's a difference. So um, you should. And now, if you were to wash your hair, you know, Wash it, get it, get it washed at the barbershop before they line you up. So you ain't got to worry about that. They got all them loose hairs off. You see what I'm saying? They got them loose hairs off. And then they line you up. Then you good. You don't have to. Why would you wash your hair? They just gave you the crispiest lineup. And then you go home and wash it. You know when you wash it and water touches hair, it's going to curl up. It's not going to be as crispy no more. I don't understand why people pay so much for a lineup and a haircut. And then they go home and wash it. You don't even have the same fresh lineup as you had when you were sitting in a chair. So. Number nine, wash your hair twice a week. You don't want to overwash it. You do not want to dry your hair out. Only wash your hair twice a week. What if I if I play sports? Well, if you play sports, you ever heard of the washing style? Don't do the washing style. Do a conditioning style. Do it with the conditioner instead every day. So, number ten is the guards. The guards is um, dependent upon the texture or the curl pattern you have. If you have coarse hair, you want a, the tighter curl side. You should your your cut should be a 1.5 to a 2.5. If your hair texture is like mine, your guard should be a three to a four. If you got that super straight strand, your your cut should be with a four and up, depending on how long you've been wolfing. It depends, but usually it should stay from a 3.5 to a 4.5 if you got straight hair. Somebody like me is three to a 3.5, maybe a four. See what I'm saying? So it's simple as that, man. And now, if y'all waited this long, y'all about to see what my waist look like. We about to see if I'm cooking up under here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm definitely cooking these hoes, boy. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't ready for that, man. Y'all ain't ready for these problems, man. Y'all ain't ready for that smoke. You ain't ready for that smoke. That's why your mama walking around with big titties and she broke. Folks. But, um, yeah, what's up, everybody? Come back to the video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all learned something from this video. This video is 14 minutes. I hope y'all listen to it. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Real Sir Cruz, R E A L S I R C R U S E. Um, my backup is Mr. William Cruz. This is my, my main Instagram, is Real Sir Cruz. Go follow me on there if you have it. My backup is Mr. William Cruz. So, appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all stuck around this long. And, um, follow me on Instagram. We, um, I ain't gonna say all of that, but follow me on Instagram. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. Please share this video if you're watching it and you made it this far. Appreciate y'all for watching. And um, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Forget it. I'm done, man. Everybody watching. Appreciate y'all, man.